I'm Annie Price, and I've lived my whole life with burn scars. I've had many operations on my face, but all were for medical necessity. Now I'm older and more confident, I'm thinking about having my nose done, but just for looks. I want to find out what some of the best plastic surgeons in the world would recommend for me. I'm in Seoul, South Korea, the global capital of plastic surgery. This is a city where 60% of people in their 20s have had plastic surgery. And Koreans have had more procedures than anyone. An amazing one in five of the population have had some sort of plastic surgery. I'm wondering just how many people here have actually had their faces done. Do you know many people that have had plastic surgery? Nice. Okay. Excuse me. You obviously don't need it at all, both of you. But would you ever consider having surgery done yourself? That's a really nice answer to hear. It doesn't seem very common around uh, around here. Why do you think you feel differently to everyone else? 주위에 사람들이 성형을 많이 하다 보니까 다 같은 얼굴, same face를 가지게 되더라고요. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So much. Thank you. There's definitely a particular look going on here. Big eyes, small nose, and a narrow jaw. I've been a bit shocked by Koreans' obsession with this idea of physical perfection. How are you? I wonder what it would have been like to grow up here with a face like mine. What would you say it was like growing up in Korea um, with burns? Well, I was um, I... Give me a second. Oh, shit. I've always felt my mum always told me I was beautiful when I was a baby and growing up. So I kind of just thought I was, in a way, you know. Obviously, I'm not, like, you know, compared to the standards of other people, but feel lucky that I grew up in an environment where I didn't think that it was necessarily, you know, of more importance than your character. Whether or not plastic surgery is necessary to improve beauty will always be a grey area. But I know from experience that it can literally transform your life. Hello. Now I'm going to have a consultation with Dr O, one of the most famous surgeons in Seoul. On his website, he claims to be the god of facial surgery. I mainly do um, cosmetic uh, surgery. Yeah. I try to make it more beautiful. Yeah. But in, in uh, scar contracture or burn scars, it's more about the functional part. Yeah. And, um, and to uh, achieve the aesthetic part, yeah. it is very, very hard. Your nose tip, mm -hmm. although there's a little room on the tip side, there's no room on the nostril side. Yeah. The nostril yeah. Uh, rim, yeah. this part has to come down with, with, the, with the whole nose. Yeah. So uh, if there's not enough tissue here, it's very hard to... To pull it down. So would you not do a skin graft? Would you not have... Uh, no, you don't like no, it? No, I, I would not do that. You wouldn't do that? Uh, if you gain something here, you lose something here. You're right. OK, hey, you have you. a good stay here. Thank you. It's funny because I think that I, I, it was a bit sh I was a bit shocked that I think maybe I wanted him to do like, right, you should do this, you should do that. I thought he was going to say, do a hundred different things. So I think in a way, I was, there's a tiny bit that I was a little, he was, I was a bit disappointed because he said about, you know, the scar tissue that he, there's not a lot he could do, which is fair. You know, in, in, you know, I think obviously, really, if I actually gave it a proper thought, that's an obvious thing. The truth about plastic surgery here is that perfectly normal looking people are having really extreme surgery, all in the pursuit of some strange idea of perfection. I'm meeting Viv, who's about to have her whole face reshaped. The shape is quite square, so 
after the jaw reduction, I would look like more slimmer. Slimmer. To size. make it more sharp, yeah. Sharp. Mm. I want to get more prettier. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, more prettier. Yeah, of course. You're gorgeous already. No. She's um, she's so pretty. And the fact that the con consultant told her to do those three big things. Again, it is nice that she's calm and he's given her advice, but they're really big operations. She don't need it. Oh, OK, OK. Don't get me wrong, my doctors have even said these are options, but fucking look at my face. Oh, I can get loads of crap on this sorted out. But how? Oh, I'm like... They're creating a, a slightly weird little army look. No-one's looking at themselves, they're just looking like they got that look. Of course you can do it, but do you, does it need to be done? No, I don't think it does. That makes you think, like, who's driving it? She won't go. Because she went, she, she didn't really have an idea. She's like, yeah, I just wanted to look prettier. It's a bit sad, really, isn't it?